Have you ever pondered about the geopolitical significance of the seemingly barren and icy land of Antarctica? It's a question that may not cross your mind as you go about your daily life, but the answer is more intriguing than you might think. Antarctica, an icy expanse devoid of permanent human settlement or government, is a land of great geopolitical importance. You might wonder, how can a place so inhospitable hold any significance? The answer lies in its vast untapped resources, strategic location and the scientific opportunities it presents. This brings us to the Antarctic Treaty System, a unique pact that governs international relations regarding Antarctica. Established in the late 1950s, this treaty has maintained peace and cooperation among nations, preserving Antarctica for peaceful purposes and scientific research. So, while it may seem like an icy, desolate wasteland, Antarctica is a complex enigma in the world of geopolitics. So, Antarctica is more than just a frozen wasteland, it's a geopolitical chessboard. But how did Antarctica become such a unique political entity? Let's hop on a time machine and journey back to when it all began. The first sighting of Antarctica is largely attributed to Russian explorer Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen in the early 19th century. However, it wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th centuries that nations began to take a keen interest in this icy continent. The motives, rich resources and strategic positioning. The United Kingdom was the first to stake a claim in 1908, asserting control over a portion of the continent. Other nations were quick to follow suit. By the mid-20th century, seven countries, including Argentina, Australia, Chile, France, New Zealand, Norway and the United Kingdom had laid claim to various parts of Antarctica. But things were about to change. The international community was growing increasingly concerned with the potential for conflict. They saw a need for an agreement that would ensure peace and scientific cooperation in Antarctica. Thus, in the year of 1959, 12 nations came together to sign the Antarctic Treaty. This landmark agreement put a freeze on all territorial claims and prohibited military activity in the region. It essentially demilitarized Antarctica and established it as a scientific preserve. The treaty emphasized that Antarctica was to be used for peaceful and scientific purposes only, a precedent that still holds today. The Antarctic Treaty of 1959 marked a significant turning point in the geopolitical history of Antarctica. So, what happened after the Antarctic Treaty was put into place? The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959, marked a pivotal moment in the geopolitical history of Antarctica. It established the icy wilderness as a scientific preserve, banning military activity and prohibiting any nuclear testing or disposal of nuclear waste. Following this, the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Seals was established in 1972 to protect the seal populations followed by the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources in 1980. Both are testament to the ongoing commitment to protect the unique ecosystem of Antarctica. However, the Antarctic Treaty System has had to navigate treacherous waters, the discovery of vast reserves of oil and minerals and the potential for their exploitation has presented a significant challenge. While the Protocol on Environmental Protection to the Antarctic Treaty in 1991 prohibited any commercial mineral resource activity, the future of this agreement remains uncertain. Climate change poses another serious threat. The melting ice caps are not just a stark reminder of our changing world, but also a potential catalyst for future territorial disputes as previously inaccessible resources become available. As the world grapples with these challenges, the geopolitical status of Antarctica faces its own trials. The continent's isolation has shielded it from many global controversies. But as we look to the future, the icy wilderness is becoming a hotbed for geopolitical tension. As we move forward, the icy continent's future becomes increasingly uncertain. The geopolitical journey of Antarctica is indeed a fascinating one. This icy expanse, though seemingly remote and desolate, has evolved into a significant player on the world stage. We've delved into its enigmatic past, its transition from an unclaimed wilderness to a region governed by a unique treaty. The Antarctic Treaty, an unprecedented example of international cooperation, has been instrumental in maintaining peace and scientific collaboration while preserving the continent's pristine environment. Yet Antarctica is not without its challenges. 
the impact of climate change, potential resource exploitation and territorial claims all pose real and pressing concerns. These issues could reshape the geopolitical landscape and their implications extend far beyond Antarctica's icy borders. As we continue to navigate the 21st century, the geopolitical status of Antarctica will undoubtedly remain a compelling topic of global discussion. This Antarctic odyssey is far from over. It's a story of diplomacy, environmental responsibility and the pursuit of knowledge, all set against the backdrop of one of the world's most extreme environments.